Bizarre Brain Comics. <laughs> Gary here for Bizarre Brain Comics. And this is where I like to take a look at some older comics, look at the characters and creators, and examine the stories and the art. And keeping with our October Halloween Fest, book I want to talk a little bit about, or a story from the book I want to talk a little bit about, is this one right here. Four Color Fear. Nice, big, fat book. S sturdy uh, cardstock paper. Good reproduction. Good book all around. This is, it's just is edited by Greg Sadowski. And this is just a bunch of stories from various titles. Here are some covers. I'll show some of them in the middle. Oh, some beautiful covers. Uh, in titles such as Weird Adventures, Terror Tales, Ghosts, The Monster, uh, Eerie, Witches Tales, Web of Evil. Those are some of the titles that these that these stories are called from. These are all pre-comics code horror. But there's one story I want, I'm going to focus on this time because I may do some other on, others on other stories in here. And that is called Swamp Monster. Not your typical swamp monster either. Is drawn and presumably written by the great Basil Wolverton. So, let us dive right in to see what kind of horrifying things Basil Wolverton has for us. In four color fear. And here you get a better view of that cover. And fortunately, fortunately, the cover is as a matte finish with a gloss, a glossy finish on the title. Kind of making it stand out. And reduces glare on the page when you're trying to. Do stuff with it like this here. Even the interior is all, all uh, matte finished. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you here. This is... Come here. The story we want to look at by Basil Wolverton. Swamp Monster. But, because the book is so big and so fat. And hard to... Uh, a little difficult to handle... I just happen to have something right here, which is going to make things a little easier. This, but I just recently acquired this particular issue of Mr. Monster. We might see that again. We don't sometime, but in the back, they happen to have in this floppy version reprinted the same story. So it's a little easier doing this with a floppy than it is with a with a big square bound uh, book. Yeah, there's the floppy. And <laughs> a sheer coincidence, I last few months I acquired that book, and the last few weeks I acquired this book, this this comic. And it, it, 
and I was already planning on, on doing this story, and there it is in a floppy. So it does have a little bit of glare on it, but it's easier to handle here. So here we have Basil Wolverton's Swamp Monster. And we've talked about Basil Wolverton before, and we'll talk about him again. I did a whole episode on him with his uh, funny uh, uh, humor stuff, his science fiction stuff, and his humor stuff. He did uh, stuff in Mad and Plop. Had all those all those bizarre covers for plop, and uh, uh, well, did a bunch of humor co uh, comics and science fiction comics for a variety of publishers in the forties and fifties. But he also did some horror. For some reason, the horror is less likely to have shown up over the years. I don't know why in the reprints. But here we ha here we do here it is because this. It, his bizarre sense of humor for his really weird humor drawings and caricatures goes hand in hand with his bizarre sense of horror. They're, they're from the same root, you might, you might say. And his, and his style is just kind of horrifying here. And you can see here the swamp monster, the splash page, the splash panel. Here, uh, that's a really nice detailed bat there. I don't know whether that's anatomically accurate or not, but it sure looks good. And this really creepy looking swamp monster terrorizing this fellow here. And that is just to give you an idea of what's inside the story. With it. And it start, the story starts off with this really uh, pug ugly fella with the hounds baying on his heels. He's an escaped, escaped prisoner. Uh, escaped into the swamp. He says, uh, Mutz must have lost the scent. I can hardly hear him, because he says he knows that. He knows his way around in the swamp, so they'll never find him. But then he find, finds this old house. It's a really nicely drawn house, too. An old house. I never knew there was one here. I must have come further than I figured. He gets in, get, comes up to it, and there's this old, another creepy old guy. Of course, <laughs> the creepy old guy in, in the house. What would you expect? And he's going to says, ah, I need food, rest, shelter. And I need to get away from, get away from those cops chasing me. And he bullies the old fellas. Says, says, what do you mean? He will plastic surgeon. So, oh, because he's saying, I can, well, I can help you with that. I can change your appearance. Says, what do you mean? You a plastic surgeon? No, I can do much better job than a plastic surgeon. And then <laughs> he pounces on him, you know, <laughs> pounces on, him, chews at his throat. His attacker is fiercely overpowering. You black, you black out. When you come to, you're in the on the floor, terrific pain knifes through you. you know, oh, I feel like I'm being torn apart. Oh, it's terrible stuff. And he starts morphing. Transmuting, changing, nice, nice change, transition there. And he sees that the old, creepy-looking old man is still creepy and even creepier-looking. He says, what did you do to me? I simply inoculated your body with the capacity to conform to the level of your mind. And you have the mind of a fiend. <laughs> it's hard on the throat. You can see him getting weirder and weirder looking. So I'm aware that you'd like to kill me. However, that's impossible. And just as he swipes at him with a, with a, with a club, the old man just fades away. And there's a bat flitting through there. He faded away and into a bat. Oh, look at how horrifying that guy is. Here he is, horrifying, but it's almost humorous because he did the very similar kind of horrific looking characters in his science fiction and in his humor really horrifying looking then now the his pursuers have caught up They're pounding on the door uh, what do you want he opens the door because he knows he, he looks different and they don't recognize him obviously coppers i don't like cops get out now take it easy mister you're dealing with the law and he quickly he had grabs their guns and Oh, just snaps them in two like, like rice twigs. Ooh, look at the face. Look at the face. 
Now get on back where you came from, or I'll break your necks like I broke your rifles. <coughs> and they take off into the swamp, and he gets it. Oh, because he, he is a fiend. He's got a terrible idea. And he goes flitting, because he looks almost like an ape. And he goes flitting through the trees gets a, and gets ahead of him. And he jumps down, because he's going to ambush them. Ah! Look out, because he was a murderer. He was going to be. He was going to be hanged, executed, and here he is. Whop. But as he drops down, one of the vines catches around his throat and snap. <laughs> How's that for poetic justice? It killed him. So he was. And then they see, then they see, in death. The horrid monster transmogrifies back into the man that they had been chasing. Oh, it's horrifying. And they're, they're horrified now, but let's get this, get this body out of here. Poetic justice, he died the way he was intended to. And here, as they're getting out of the swamp, ah, you see this horrid, horrid bat thing come chasing. Hey, there's a big bat coming right at us. Ah! And then... The horrid laughter echoing through the swamp. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, that is great. Great Basil Wolverton. I love his stuff. And we'll be seeing some more of him. Next time I want to focus on some of his humor comics, not just his caricatures and stuff. Okay. And that's what I've got for Basil Wolverton's Swamp Monster from the pages of Four Color Fear. Ha <laughs> ha! Thank you for joining me with this great, great pre-code horror. Yes. And we'll be seeing more of that pre-code horror because, as I had in another video, I recently acquired a bunch of it. Ha <laughs> ha! All reprints. I can't afford the real stuff. So thank you for joining me. Please like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment. Share it with your other horror-loving fellows. And remember, as horrifying as it gets, comics are art.